Hello, it is your Lord and Master, Soaring Moon, here again with another guide for you. This time it is a very simple flux farming guide. This is a revised, new, updated edition. There, I'm going to go over a couple different methods you can use to farm flux pretty reliably for little effort. So, start with a couple methods. I'm going to go with my favorite method first. And it's the one I always suggest to new players because the power cap is way higher now. That is farming radiant shards. Now, there are two ways you can do this. One sucks, one is very good. The first known, well-known method of farming radiant shards is to go to a radiant dungeon and activate the Heart of Darkness and farm them, like this man is right here. Going around, getting one or two shards at a time, just wasting his life. He is strong enough to do what I'm doing now, and there's no reason why he should go and waste his time, the madman. So, just fly around a little bit. Turning off your HUD definitely helps, just to get some scenery there. It's very pretty, this place is, so it's nice to go around, fly, test yourself on little corners, get your flying mechanics down. So this man right here, we're going to turn the hood on so we can see some stuff. I'm going to go right up to him, shoot him in the face. There you go, he's dead. He's got 20 radiant shards. going to go over here, I'm going to shoot this man in the face, and miss. 22 radiant shards, and a radiant cache. I'm going to go here, open up that cache immediately, get another 100 radiant shards. Going after some loose change going in these dungeons here. I swear people waste their time doing that. It's pointless. So I'm going to do some radiant shard farming just a little bit here so you can see what kind of numbers you can get in a short period of time. And go over what you can do to improve those numbers. 18, 20 right there. Another 18 right there. Good. Getting that, getting that flux, and it's good because if you look at radiant shards in the market, radiant shards, radiant shards are 6.5 a piece, 6 times 20, that's 120. So I shoot this guy in the face, the worst 120 flux. And that's what it's like every time. Shoot a man in the face, get 120 flux. Just keep doing that. Now, it's not that lucrative today. Today isn't Tuesday. On Tuesdays, the amount of flux that you get from uh, these men doubles. Instead of getting 20 radiant charge, you get 40. To be specific, it's like 46 to 48. Or sorry, 36 to 48. So, right here, nice little bit of flux, 120 flux, 120 flux, 120 flux, go here, got two radiant caches, right there, what, 650 flux, another 650 flux, easy money, shoot in the face, 120 flux. So you do this for an hour, you make about 140k give or take. And it's easy. It's effortless. Go here, another 650. No problem. And if you want to wait a little bit, those radiant caches, right, they sell for 1600 a piece as well. Because you can get mounts from them, and stuff like that. Um, you also have a, like, no, I don't want to say, it's like 10% chance uh, to get five uh, scrolls from them as well, 
and scrolls or um, spoiling scrolls. If I can spell. I have my microphone right over the keyboard, so. Blank scrolls, 740, so. Those make it worth opening those radiant caches for. Otherwise you get shards, which I mean, why would you say no to shards? Shards are shards. So, yeah, there you go. Pretty easy, right? Farming flux is a no problem game. Going in here, killing some sky giants, getting some flux. The next method we're gonna go over is the higher level players method. If you're gonna be in one of the geo topside worlds, you're gonna fly around, look for an underground cavern. It used to be that you go after Primal Flames and Shapestone, both of those are good. But right here, Nitro Glittering, you can destroy it with the dragon. Again, it's the softest ore in the game. You can even laser mancy this stuff pretty quickly. If you don't want to use your dragon, don't don't use your bombs for this. They don't come in packages of ore at all. So, use your dragon. And while you're doing that, you can go here take on these giants, form yourself some, some crystal equipment, but mainly you're going after that nitro glittering if you're after the flux. Coarse nitro, sells for 92 a piece, so just like the, this is an underground cavern, it's a dungeon kind of ran out of jumps on my fade, which is amazing, because I have like 80 jumps. No, 54. Basically 80. Told you not to use bombs, but I don't want to pull the dragon back up. Bombs are pretty much worthless now. Anyway. Making bombs is a good way to make some money, so... Bombs sell for a bit stall too, about 22 a piece. So if we make a thousand of those, it's 22, 22k. It's not unsubstantial, but it is lackluster compared to other methods of farming flux now. All these underground dungeons, five star dungeons, making me very sad, but destroy two of those, 200 flux. People swear by this method. There, 200 flux. On gathering days, you can get pretty good. Get that 50% bonus to farming more. Definitely not bad for sure. But there are. I think the sky giants are. Uh, it, not Maybe not more um, efficient, but definitely more fun. It is definitely more fun. I, I don't want to go around flying around looking for, you know, nitro uh, rather infrequently. Whenever you get an underground cavern, I can't remember what biome it is in for the life of me. Because I just don't do it that often. But farming nitro is pretty, pretty efficient for flux. 100 flux, 100 flux, 100 flux. It just doesn't have those caches that give you a real, you know, endorphins, right? Like, I just like opening caches. And if you have a fast movement speed, like if I change over to Ice Age, just boost my flight speed by 10, so I have 10 movement speed. Works in Dragons as well. And I can get, you know, you know, the bomber dragon out here. I don't need the dragon. I can just use laser mancy. It'd be pretty fast. So, hundred flux, hundred flux, hundred flux. Missed one under there. Hundred. 
another hundred, another hundred. Pretty easy, you know. They're everywhere. It's faster than finding the sky giants. So hundred, hundred. But those caches, they really make up the difference when you get 600 at a time. Because you really catch up on the, on the flux farming. So, got that nitro. It's like almost, almost 1k right there. Not too bad. And of course, so, later you're going to need the nitro anyway. So, why not do it? Sell some. Get some flux out of it. No problem. We're going to go over a third method. I had it in mind. Completely forgot what it was. Let's give me a moment. I didn't write it down or anything. Just going off of the off the, the rails here. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm dumb. This is the only world you should be in for this. <laughs> is the uh, cyber biome. The third method, of course, we're going to be looking at is cryptocurrency. We're going to go mining for crypto. Did somebody say crypto? Yeah. So, it's easy to do. Just go into one of these biomes. Neon City biomes. You're gonna win to bring some bombs with you. Bombs are a way to do this. And then, just look for any ore at all. That has a lot of cyan. I thought that was all plasma. I was like, it is all plasma. Wow. Does that dungeon just have that much plasma? No, never noticed, never looked at it. Though that hard. Huh. But the ore you're looking for has, uh, it's gray with rainbow colored speckles and it can spawn any number of cryptocurrencies. There are I think six or eight in total to collect. I think it's six. You can look on the wiki for which ones they are. You're going to find them infrequently, maybe even never. But when you do find them, they're very valuable, ranging from 50 to 200k, even more. And the best part about it is, when you find one, it comes in ore form. You can invite your friends over, and they can all get a share of the pot. Everybody gets it. So then, if you have a, a group of people, or a guild, or a group of friends, and you want to share your spoils, you, yeah, just kill some, kill some mobs. And get your cryptocurrency. You're going to want as many people there. Get everything, everybody from your clan. You know, up to eight people, of course. Because it only drops for eight people. So... Invite seven of your friends over real quick. Tell them there's cryptocurrency. Trust me, they'll want to be there. And then everybody gets part of the pot. So you just blast away at some ore with your dragon. If you have this dragon, it's the good mining dragon. Save you some bombs. But there's only shape in... Um, for a minute. I was only shape and primal flame and golden souls. Golden souls are another good way. Occasionally you'll find some golden souls. Oh. Yeah, there you go. 848 flux. Each golden soul is worth quite a bit. One thing to keep in mind is that cryptocurrency does not double on gathering days, so you cannot use that to your advantage to get double crypto. You're just going to have to deal with getting one 
rather infrequently. So let's take a look at it, see if we can find any, any coins in here. Moon coin, there's a cryptocurrency. 40k flux. So that's the cheapest crypto right now, it's 40k. And that's a moon coin. Or you can go through there, see how much cryptocurrency sell for, they're pretty expensive. And then they can be crafted into blockchains. And blockchains are basically half a gondo right now. So that's what you're gonna wanna do if you have your free time and you really do not care about how much fun you're gonna have <laughs> doing it. Just go in, mine some crypto. It's rare. Uh, we're talking one in 10,000 or rare. I think that's pretty much exact. It's like a shiny Pokemon. Rarity. But when you find it, I mean, why not? Okay. Those are the three main methods. If you're going to take anything away from this guide, your three farming methods are radiant shards, if you can. Do giants, please stop doing dungeons. Or, um, if you're gonna, if you're gonna farm radiant shards, tell everyone else to do dungeons, and you do giants. That way, you know, not everybody's fine farming giants while you're around. Just, again, keep it to yourself. Farm, farm, farm giants. Tell everybody else to do dungeons. And then, two, farm nitro. Nitro is a good method. I'm gonna say that it's not less efficient than doing giant. Giants might even be more efficient, uh, flux-wise. But again, I find the radiant biomes just pretty. Flying around is fun, um, and then shooting giants in the face is also fun. Opening caches is fun. So you're you're just gonna have more enjoyment far farming giants, I think. And as somebody who has, you know like 1500 hours in trove, I'm telling you that you're going to want to do the giants. And then the final one is to farm cryptocurrency, which as you can see, I've been on stream now for, this isn't a stream, it's a video, I've been on video now for so five minutes, destroying more. Not any closer to find, find farming crypto. I've been farming crypto for like the past two hours, um, just because I want some crypto. No, no, not to sell it or anything, but I, I have a I have a collection in my club world. Actually, we're going we're gonna be taking aside. I'm gonna go to my club world real quick. I'm just gonna show me my collection. It's in it's in the throne room. Whenever you first come in. It spawned me out of the last portal I went through. It's interesting. But yeah, I have a collection of pretty much every collectible. Every giant, even boots, I even have Black Scarab. One of the rarest trophies right there. And then I have all the Geo trophies now, I think. I have all the, except I don't have um, Dreadnought or or Hydra. Now that I think about it, I should probably go after those. They even have trophies. I think they have trophies. They got have. They have to have trophies. But yeah. So nice to see a character other than the owl in a video. I hope you liked the video. There will be other guides coming soon. Okay, thanks, bye.